Luton Town manager Nathan Jones after an incredible 90 plus minutes of football out there. I, I'm not even sure where we start Nathan, but what were your thoughts on uh, how that game's uh, followed and what's happened? I thought it was a wonderful advert for, for League 2 football in terms, of, in terms of everything. I mean, credit to them. It was a very difficult place to come to first and foremost, but credit to them. They changed shape, matched us up and with a better side for 45 minutes. I mean, we didn't, we didn't get to grips with it. We didn't get hold of the ball. We, we didn't play with enough energy. We didn't we didn't win the second board. We didn't win the battle really first half, and they were better. Then we started a lot second half, and then we had to change. We had to change shape, which suited us a little bit more on the day, and we caused them a lot more problems. Obviously, we got hit on the counter for for one for one goal, but I thought after that we were, we were excellent, you know. And I could have nicked it, but I think if two 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 is a fair result because uh, I, I thought two two sides had a right goal. Was it? I mean, at half time you've gone in one 0 down, and your side's been up against it. Is it frustration or anger at that point? Did you feel Mansfield were, were playing well that was stopping you progressing, or was, did you feel your players weren't performing up to their ability? A little bit of both, really. But credit to them, they, they, they matched us up and they, and they stopped us playing. And they they were they, they got in our faces and, and they got on second balls and they, they just had a little bit more of a foot in, in in the game. Every time we got it down and were brave and played them. We, we, we kind of got, got a foothold in the game, but uh, until half time, you know, we, we didn't. And you know, I, I wouldn't say we were lucky to be to be one all because all they had was, was sort of set plays and put in our box. But um, I, I, I you know I, I thought we reacted superbly well second half, and it was you know it was a magnificent comeback. Was there any temptation to change things at half time, or were you always thinking to, to let them try for the second half and see what happened? No, we discussed it. We discussed it about causing problems and, and how we, we were going to get you know, cause them problems because at that time they were better than us, you know, in terms of uh, man for man. They actually were better. But we started actually very well second half, and then then we decided to change, and it was, it was you know look, it's a good change in the end because I think it gave us a real foothold in the game, and we created a lot more for playing that shape. And as, as I said, it was, uh, it, was, it, was a, it was a good result. I mean, the second goal for them came a little against the run of play because it was after about a quarter of an hour after you'd had the changes, yeah. Ray and Berry coming on. You went to three at the back and Luton looked as though they were pushing forward more and attacking more. Just one or two chances just not going their way at times. Yeah, and I said, that's the thing when, you, when, you, when you're chasing the game. We, you know, we, we, we don't like chasing the games, but it happens sometimes because we conceded from that set play. Um, but yeah, it did come against the run of play. But fair play to them, they did some counter, they got good quality, we know that, and and they took it well. But the you know, reaction from my players after that was absolutely magnificent. We knew if we got one, we would push and push and push and, and look for another one, and, uh, and and we got that. And I said, at the end, we, we probably could have nicked it, um, but we also could have lost it with with the obviously penalty decision. We'll come to that in a moment, but Harry Cornick coming on, three up front, you were brave, you, you thought, well, we've got to go out to get something from this game, and it, it paid off. First of all, Jack Stacey down the right, one of his many attacking runs, lovely cross, and James Collins from close range was never going to miss, and then four minutes later, uh, the other side pops to Danny Hilton. I mean, great play. Yeah, look, uh, both both our wing-backs, you know, full-backs turned into wing-backs with a change of shape, and both of them provided assists for, for two centre-forwards who, you know, were in, were in excellent form. Um, yeah, I thought I thought the game changes that came on were excellent. I thought Luke Berry looked bright. I thought Glenn obviously is fitted in like he does anyway. And then I thought H give us a real impetus and a forward, uh, you know, forward thinkingness and, you know, a real bit of guile as well. So, look, very, very pleased with that. And after being 2 new down, you're delighted with, with two all and, and especially... You know, right at the end with, with them getting the penalty and, uh, and Marek saving it. I mean, let's talk about that then. First of all, the actual penalty of pit, uh, award. Scott Cuthbert looked adamant that it had hit him on the head and he then got booked as well for the handball. Your view on it, your thoughts? Look, it, it's not a pen. It, it's, he's headed the ball. You know, we've, we've looked at the thing and he's headed the ball. But it was a difficult game for the referee today. I mean, a real difficult game. There's a lot going on when you play Mansfield. A lot goes on in the game that is a distraction at times. On and off the pitch as well. Well, you know, we see that, but you know, it, 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 it was all sort of good natured, it was all sort of driving the team forward and I thought we were I thought we were excellent. And uh, and, and I said Marek pulled off a fantastic save as he has done, you know, on, on three occasions now. And uh, and so we're delighted with that because it would have been an absolute travesty if we'd lost the game. I mean, uh, what a fantastic save from Marek. Like nothing away from him. I mean, grateful that the player coming in blazed it over the bar as well, but he needed to make that save, didn't he? Yeah, he did. And uh, as I said, look, we say because I said, we'd feel aggrieved if we'd lost it on that penalty, especially after everything that's gone on and, uh, and and the way the game. I think it would have been very, very harsh if we had if we had lost the game. But look, let's talk about the positive. Second half, I thought we were, we were magnificent. I thought that was more us. First half, we we didn't do ourselves justice, and, and that's what cost us really. I mean, it really did change things around in that second half. The players that you've got at your disposal now. I mean, Luke Berry obviously coming in for his debut for Luton after signing yesterday. That that was the significant signing, I'm assuming, that you were talking about uh, earlier in the week. 
yeah, look, we, we knew it was ongoing. It's been ongoing for about a week, and, and the board have again backed me and, and done done great work in terms of uh, I'm getting it done because he's a fantastic signing. You know, he's the highest scoring midfield player uh, the last two years, so he, he adds goals to us. And I said, as you can see today, fitted in nicely, very good technically, good energy, makes those runs. And I said, it's, it provides you know even more competition. And a great competition for places now. Lots of players out there performing for you, and it, it shows that what's happening within the team to come back against a team like Mansfield from 2-0 down with five minutes to play. Look, this is a big game. It's a big game because it said, you know, it's a marker really of, of Mansfield were the favourites. We were second favourites uh, and, and so on. So it's a big, big game. But that manner of to come back and to show that character and that fitness level and that desire and no little craft as well to, to get in because they weren't, you know, just long balls, knockdown shots. We, we carved our way open and, and carved great, you know, great play. And uh, I said, I'm very, very pleased. I'm, look, I'm, I'm happy. It's, it's, it's probably a fair result, and, and, and I thought it was an excellent game. Lovely. Thank you very much, Jason. Cheers. Cheers. Obviously, um, Luke Perry came in in the week, as he, as he said. There was a lot of rumours as well about Sonny Bradley from, from Plymouth. Um, is is that a player you're interested in at all, or is that just internet? Look, it, Sonny Bradley's a, um, a Plymouth player, and, 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 and I, I wouldn't want to comment on, on anything about, about that. Um, as I said, he's, he's, he's had a fantastic season last year, Sonny, but it, it's wrong for me to comment on anyone else's player. So, you know, and especially after my team have done fantastically well today. I mean, defensively, are you looking to, to bring anyone in at all, or is, are you still happy with the centre backs you've got at the moment? Look, we've got we've we've got three three days for the window. If we can improve the squad in any way, and it fits in with what we do, then look, there's there's scope to do it. But look, I don't envisage it being massive movement on on players in. Um, uh, and, and so on, so let's let's just concentrate on that. Um, Andrew Shin, is he okay? He looked like he caught his studs in the turf a little bit in, inside the area. Yeah, look, I think he's okay. I thought he had a kick, to be fair. Um, but I, I look, I, 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 we'll have to assess everything, and, and hopefully, it's nothing, it's nothing serious or anything. Uh, baby off the bench for, for Luke Berry. Uh, he looks like he, he slotted in nice and straight away. Yeah, well, look, he's a quality player, and um, and he's been one of the outstanding midfield players in in the division uh, for a number of years, and says plays a higher level as well. So we're delighted to to have acquired him. You know, the board backed me in terms of that. We we earmarked him at the beginning of of the summer window. We tried to get him in in May, but it wasn't it wasn't to be. Uh, and then the opportunity we we we, we, we heard that there might have been an op opportunity to, to do it, and uh, and look, the, the board went for it, and, and for credit to the board, and especially Gary Sweet that has, has got the deal done. And, uh, and as I said, it was it was ongoing for about a week, but we're very very pleased to get it done. In terms of attacking midfielders, do you see him as someone that can compete with Shinny or, or perhaps play alongside him? No, he gives us good options. You know, he's he's, he's similar. You, you, you know. He's, he's a little bit like a Cameron McGain in terms of his uh, all-round play, in terms of his goal-scoring record and stuff. So that's the kind of player we want. We want to add goals. Now we have three in our midst that, that got 20 goals last year, so hopefully we'll have goals in us. We've shown today we've got goals in us. It's just we've, we've got to make sure that we keep clean sheets. But look, I, I'm sure they can play together. It's not just either or because they're two fantastic players. So we wouldn't have brought another fantastic player in to sit him on the bench. So it's, uh, you know, it, it provides wonderful competition. And is that something you want to do since McGeehan left? Well, look, I mean, you know, obviously, really, is, we want to replace Cameron's goals from midfield. If you've got a midfielder who's chipping in with goals, and you've got your two front men scoring, then you know you're going to win football matches, and that's what we have to do. But you know, what we have to do is make sure that we, we're tighter at the other end, uh, and make sure that we, we're not having to score three goals to score to win again. And for, for all the sort of quality goals from from all over the pitch that we saw on that opening day against Mansfield, it, it's just important to, to get goals like today. You know, a couple of yards out, just just get it in the back of the net. Well, I think it was more than just a couple of yards out getting back in there. I think our, pro, our, our, our structure and, and our, our inventive play to get, the, especially the first goal, was wonderful. And we work on things day in, day out in terms of runs from crosses, in terms of putting balls into the right area and people arriving. And they were two wonderful balls. Obviously, Colo couldn't miss, but the ball was wonderful. The run was well-timed. And exactly the same from, from Dan Potts. Could have, could have blazed it, could have blasted it, but clipped into a wonderful area, invited Hilts to get on the end. And, and it's great to see Hilts again getting off the mark. And how important would a, would a comeback a bit like that be in terms of uh, you know, team spirit, character, that yeah. kind of thing? Oh, wonderful, I would imagine. You know, I, I, like I, I would have liked to have, to have scored two and not conceded today and won the game because I think that would have put us in good step back. This is a very, very difficult place to come to. They haven't lost here yet, you know, in terms of that. They beat, obviously, Forest Green and they're on the front foot. They would have definitely raised their game today because it's Luton Town. But, look, I thought it was a wonderful advert and I, and I said I thought we were excellent. Right, thank you. Cheers.